Now this week in your workshop, you're going to be exploring a range of coding solutions and coding tools that allow you to create those solutions. Now the first set will be using a programming language called Pencil Code. And this allows you to create various solutions to problems. Now some of these problems are relatively abstracted. Of course we could contextualize them and make them engaging and set a a good context so that students can associate the activity with some sort of um, narrative and story that you're telling. But for these purposes, we're just getting straight into them. And the first challenge is around using pencil code for what it was really designed for, which is drawing uh, patterns and shapes and objects. And the main focus in terms of the concept is on iteration or looping or repeating and the idea that we can have loops within loops and that by doing this we can create quite complex intricate shapes and diagrams with relatively short commands short sequences of code so you're essentially creating artistic works um, so I've given you some examples to work through and do that with your tutors and you'll discuss the various concepts around iteration and repeating and how those processes can create much more complexity and artistic work than simply following a sequence of instructions. Now the next activity is also using pencil code but at this time looking at it through the lens of music creation. So you're going to set out a series of piano notes and use that to then code your computer to play those notes, um, generate a story or a song in relation to those notes, and then put all of those notes together into a song. In a relatively quick and easy process that you could have your own students go through in creating their own songs, better understanding music, and the fact that music is simply another form of coding. It's a representation and an abstraction of various um, notes, various sounds being turned into symbols in terms of musical notation, in this case, um, piano keys, and that we can code that and have a computer create those sounds. Then the next activity, again, using pencil code, is around creating text um, and creating a story, uh, presenting text onto the screen, presenting images onto the screen, uh, presenting options um, we can choose between and having different text appear based upon those options and generally storytelling. So I want you to give it, have a try at storytelling through pencil code. And part of that will be then looking at how the limitations of pencil code, which is really designed for uh, repeating and iteration when it comes to making decisions and doing what's called selection, where it's not necessarily the best tool for that. Of course, then you're going to use a tool that you would have explored during the um, preparation for the workshop, which is um, the Twine game. Now, the Twine game or tool is designed for making decisions and presenting an interactive story based upon those decisions. So it's a programming language that is more specifically designed and purposed for that particular solution. And you're going to, in your tutorial, with your tutors and your peers, create a story in Twine that, um, through the programming of the Twine language. And then you'll share that as a um, HTML file to be submitted as evidence of your completion of the, tutor the workshop activity.